Okay, so to install the Linux environment on your machine, on your Chrome OS, you have to go uh, in your settings and then either uh, type in Linux in your search settings bar or just go to advanced and then developers uh, where you will have this option of um, turning on the Linux environment. So you want to do it and then click next uh, then choose a username for your, for your um, Linux user um, and then choose the uh, disk size. Here you have two choices, the customized and the recommended one. I will go for the recommended one and I will recommend you to do the same. And that's because you can change the, uh, the disk size to allocate for li the Linux environment afterwards so it's not that big of a deal um, although you do have to consider the amount of memory you have left in your machine and luckily enough I do have 64 gigabytes so it's not that big of a deal to me to use 10 gigabytes but even then I think that you should consider that, that, that like if you want to install some applications on this environment uh, or better in this environment, then the amount of space uh, that these applications will take will be the same one uh, if they had been installed on the Chrome OS um, on, on, on the Chrome OS operating system. So uh, it's not like you are you are wasting mm, memory space. Um, that being said, I wanted to spend to spend some time on analyzing who should install the Linux uh, environment uh, on its on his, his or her Chrome OS, and I will say that um, at first instance, at least, uh, Linux uh, actually brings more advantages than disadvantages for anyone, not only for the develop for developers or um, people interested in Linux. Uh, and that's because um, you can install APK, APK applications or desk desktop version of any kind of application uh, only this way, only with the Linux environment. I will eventually show you later. And so if you want, for instance, um, I don't know, if you want, for instance, for instance, the desktop version of the Brave browser on your Chrome OS system rather than the Android one, then you totally have to, um, to, to install the Linux environment. Or for instance, if you're like me and use NewPipe instead of YouTube, then you do, you do know that you have to install it from an APK file because it is not present uh, as an application in the in the Play Store, um, so to do to install new pipe you have to install Linux, uh, the Linux environment, and this usually works for I don't know for Spotify Premium or these are Premium or other things. Um, anyways, uh, while this finishes installing, uh, I will go back here in the in developers uh, as you can see the turn on option is now gone obviously and if you click here uh, you can see that there are some mm, some flags here uh, you might be interested uh, I mean in any of them I wanted to show you this one though the develop Android apps which um, gives you the uh, possibility to enable ADP debugging which is something that you totally want to enable in case you wanted to install APK files, although you do have to enable it from the Linux terminal itself. And then here you can see there is the disk size allocated for the Linux environment, and then you can change it. Uh, now I won't click on it because it is still, yeah, it is still going on. And then, I don't know, there are other things that I'm not interested in right now, but you, can, you do can back up Oh, you do can back up the um, uh, the memory uh, things you have in your Linux environment. Uh, um, or replace uh, uh, the present the present settings with uh, a previous backup. And anyways, I will this leave up to you to 
gonna to look into. I think it's actually pretty straightforward. Straightforward what these things do. Um, rather than that, I will show you the terminal. And this is the Linux environment in particular. And once you are here, the first, the very first thing that you want to do is to type in sudo app update, which is a command I will show you. The Uh, that will show you the updates that are available for a, for the system, um, and then after that you want to type in sudo up uh, upgrade because yeah uh, this command always shows you the packages that can be upgraded in fact so really really important to do this um, I won't. I won't do this now because it might take some memory space while I'm recording the video, so I don't want to mess up. Um, anyways, after than that, I want also to say that um, this is really powerful, and, but as you can see, this is a Debian-based Linux environment, so if you were looking for Arch Linux or uh, um, uh, stuff like that, you won't have it here. And yeah, this is pretty much 